Cameron County leaders say they are one step closer to final approval of a second causeway on the island. CBS 4's Nora Salinas has more on what progress has been made on this project. Nora. Well, Eddie, the plans to build a new causeway that would provide a second entrance to the island have been in the works for more than seven years, but now full approval to build it could be only a few months away. South Padre Island is one of the most visited vacation spots in all of Texas, but currently the Queen Isabella Causeway is the only way to get in or out. There's only one access in and out of South Padre Island today. So during evacuations or other emergencies, uh, you know, it, it, it will become difficult to evacuate the island if we continue to just have one access. Director of the Cameron County Region Mobility Authority, Pete Sepulveda, says plans of creating a causeway that would stretch more than eight miles over the Laguna Madre are underway along with a new highway. We can have a, a, a highway and a second causeway that can get people from Edinburgh all the way to South Padre Island. And so that'll be a, a good congestion reliever on, on Interstate Highway 2. It's something South Padre Island visitors say they believe would be beneficial. And I think another way off the island would be absolutely superb. Usually when you leave on Sundays, it's, you know, bumper to bumper. So it help uh, alleviate the traffic getting off the island. The second causeway will connect with FM 510 and with Buena Vista Drive. It is now between six to nine months of getting full environmental approval and is expected not only to create less congestion, but also boost economic development. Currently, most businesses on the island are located close to the Queen Isabella Causeway where there is little room for new development. Once a second causeway is built, this large strip of empty land past Beach Access 5 could be seeing a whole set of new businesses. If we bring in infrastructure, we bring in uh, another access, that's an area of South Padre Island that, that can be developed in the future. And so um, hopefully once we start this project, we'll start seeing development uh, spill over into that area of South Padre Island. The causeway would cost more than $700 million. Once it's fully environmentally approved, engineering could begin as soon as next year. In the studio, Nora Salinas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.